Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be telling you how to understand the 3x3 piston door. Now, this is the most compact design that I could find of the 3x3 piston door. It is created by Jeffrey Zhu. And today I'm going to help you understand it. I'm not going to give you a um, full just build. I'm going to actually help you understand how it works so you can actually get a general idea of it. So, let's start off at the top where everything happens. So, or first, I should probably show you. Piston door. You can put a lever here and it stays uh, not much different. So, here's how it works. So, we'll start from over here and then we'll make our way down. Alright, so, we start up here. The button then goes to these. It's five ticks right here. So, it's five ticks of repeaters, which then powers this piston right here. This piston is then pushed down, which is carrying this block. So then it's going to get powered over by here because this has got a little bit of redstone on it, which is then going to power this dropper. This dropper then sends its signal to the observer because what an observer does is it takes the output of a block right here. So if it has a one output, so let me put you an example right here. So Let's put our observer, whoops, wrong way. So let's put our observer right here. And as soon as we put a block update, you can see that the redstone flicks for just a little bit. That's the purpose of the observer. So we come back over to here. That is sending an output to this block. And if we turn it on, you can see that when it sounds, sends the output here, you can't see it, but when it sends the output here and the piston is pushed down, that then pushes down this block which this is what we would call in redstone a double piston extender. Now, we move over to here and this is powering this right here. So this observer is taking the output from this piston and sending it down to here. This little bit of redstone is powering this block right here or this piston which is then firing this out. Now that we've covered this entire top portion we can now move on to the sides. And what this essentially is, is it's a loop, because if you see the arrows right here, you can see that it's just pretty much going in a loop, aside from up here. So now, when we press this once more, we can see how all this happens. So now, how this is happening is the dropper right here, it's sending the signal over to these, so then this is this observer down here is picking it up and that is sending the signal to the redstone because piston pushing out block update sending it to the redstone this redstone is then powering this block which therefore powers this piston which then gives this a, another block update so then when that gives it a block update it powers this block which powers this dropper which is a block update once again which then powers this observer which then powers this block right here, powering this redstone dust, powering this boy right here, and then this piston right here, block update is sent and received by here, sent over to these pistons. That was a lot. It is very hard to understand. Um, I will put a diagram model up on screen to show you how it looks with arrows pointed on it so that because right now, uh, it just looks like a whole bunch of jumble messes of observers. So that is how it looks. So now I will show you how to build it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to place an observer. The observer right here. And we're going to we're gonna face it in this direction. Actually, I should probably build it up more. So I can do a little fly around when I'm done. So you don't need to build it too high. So we're going to put an observer in this direction. Also, when you're placing observers, place it on the opposite side, because if you go on this side, it's going to face this way, like this. So that means that the input's going to come in from here, and it's going to output through here, like that. So we're going to put it like this, and then we're just going to put a little block right there. We're going to put a dropper. I prefer starting from the bottom, because, you know, it's the whole loop cycle. So it's going to start from here. It's going to power this block, which is going to tick this dropper right here. So then 
we're going to uh, pop this guy on here. And that is going to receive the tick from there. We can then place our block of choice with our redstone on it because once it detects this tick, it's going to send it to this observer, which is then going to power this block, powering this redstone dust. Got it? All right, so we're gonna place an observer on top of it to receive the redstone dust and put the face of the observer down to the redstone dust so that it observes it. <laughs> um, there is a slight arrow on the side. I would recommend if you're using observers a lot to get a texture pack with arrows on it. Um, I should probably do that. So then we're just gonna place the three pistons up here. These are your pistons that are going to be pushing out the blocks. That's what pistons do. All right, so now that we have this, here's what it looks like so far. All right, so now we're gonna come down here and we're going to put this right here. And then we're going to put a sticky piston right here. So then when this is powered, or sorry, when this is given a tick from this, it's going to detect it, which is then going to send it up to this um, piston. So then let's get our blocks out. So we're gonna do a set of three right here. And then we can actually remove this because we do need to see that when we are placing this, that the arrow faces in this direction. Once again, the diagram will be shown up on screen. So then now we can place that block here and place two sticky pistons in this region right here, right under. It moved a little bit quick for some, so here's another little part of it. All right, now we're going to move on to this portion. Use a, you could use a sticky piston, but use a piston, that's just what I do. And then we're going to put a block right here with a little bit of redstone dust on top. And then we're going to put a block right here with nothing on top except these blocks, but that'll come in later. So then we're going to put our observer, but we do need it to face down. So you're just gonna do this, place your observer down and then, yep, it'll do that. Don't worry, you didn't break it. And then you see, so that's just gonna stay up there for right now. Um, you can reset it if you feel. It's gonna go off a couple more times, so it's not really worth it. All right, so now we're going to take our dropper and we're going to put a little piece of redstone dust on top. So then we are going to take our observer and face it in this direction. And then now we can just fill in this piece because we've essentially completed most of the door. Whoops, that is, I was wondering why that was a little high. So we've completed a big portion of the door. So now we're also going to put in a one right here. I should probably have done that first, but I didn't. So it's gonna look like this. So here you go. Here's a little zoomed out version of it. All right. And while you're at it, you might as well just put these down here. And this is pretty much the shell of your door. So now it's just working around it. So now we're going to take another observer and we're going to face it in this direction. And we are going to take two pistons, sticky pistons, of course. And we're just gonna put them up in this direction right here. So we're gonna put them up vertical. So here you go. Copy that down. Got it, good. All right, so now we're going to take our observer like this and we're going to place two blocks like this with redstone going from here, here, and here. All right, now that you've done that, we're going to take the repeaters and we're going to set this one to four, t or yeah, four ticks. So by default, the repeater is set to one tick. So you're just gonna do one, two, three. So that equals four, because one plus three is four. And then you're just gonna do one tick right here. So now you are done. You're gonna place in your button right here. And look at that, they're identical. So you press it. Would you look at that? And here, let me show you it with a lever. So let's grab a lever. Bam, look at that. And that is your door. So if you wanna cover it up, you just do this. 
simple way to cover it up with no exposed redstone out the side or anything this is a completely concealed door you can go through it and you can close it and that is the piston door i apologize if i didn't get everything and nail everything down but it's a very hard concept for the piston door at least for me it's pretty hard to understand the entirety of this thing i mean it took me a little bit to get it but now i can just build it on command i know how it works in my own words so i know how it works i know how it functions and i can do it so i hope that this helped you please leave feedback in the comments i would like to know if i can improve on anything if i can um, help out with any other thing because I have a fairly decent redstone knowledge I'd say now um, I've been practicing a little bit with it So if you do have a request for something that you would like explaining to please Let me know and I will do my best to make a video on it Anyway, thank you all so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see all of you in the next video Goodbye